Hello and welcome to another new video of Travel Chef. Well, this is Richie here. You folks probably might be wondering where is Jerry. I'm heading for a small short vacation. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello! This is, my, this is my video and my channel. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Travel Chef. Meet Richie John, my colleague. This is more of an intro scene what we are trying to show instead of the beautiful uh, backdrop. So just see where we start our video from actually. So just get to the past of Check that video out. <laughs> so you will find all the like how did we come to this part of the town and everything like that. So you'll have a clear idea of the past of us. So come along with us to the past. <laughs> Welcome back from the future. Well, we are on our way to Hesselgata and right now we are in MS Palaya. Uh, so let's go explore like what has Hesselgata got for us actually. So I mean, um, on our way we'll be covering a lot of restaurants and um, it's like we'll be even going through uh, uh, a play zone where you'll see it on the way. And then uh, we'll be even going to Hesselgata Lake, but, uh, Lake Bed, which is already covered by Jerry in the past video. But let's see, I mean, on the way we'll be able to see actually a lot of things. So, so he's going to show us Hesselgata and we are on route to this place. And actually, actually this place is a lovely place, I could say. Lovely weather, lovely place. Let's enjoy the drive together. Jerry, what you're seeing on the right is Samram College. This is one of the biggest colleges in... Uh, so this is the landmark you mean to say? One, yeah, this is yeah. quite a landmark. This is one of the biggest engineering colleges in Bangalore. Uh, but also I'm super hungry. <laughs> Actually, we, we are like we, we wanted to get to this place and uh, uh, the food it seems is pretty good over here. Uh, that's what I heard. But uh, how how is it? There, did you experience? Okay? There are a lot of dabas around us. I mean, why is it called dava? Is mainly because it's more of a uh, restaurant, like kind of a restro pub, right? Like you would sit outside. And, it's more of an outdoor setup. So for the viewers who do not know what's a daba, it's the little hotels. Yeah, little hotels. Yeah. What they have done over here. I mean, just you can carry your drinks and you can have it. Okay. Uh, like, uh, I mean, uh, it's like uh, you can have it on your own. They're not going to charge you extra for. Uh, That's pretty neat. See, yeah, but if, you're, if they are trying to serve you from that, it's going to cost. Uh, to the right is known as Kalathur Farms. Mm -hmm. This belongs to a Malu entrepreneur. It's the entire thing. I mean, where you wow. can. I mean, Kalathur like, Gardens, yeah, party halls, and all. And on the left, what you're seeing again is a school. It's Baselwood. Like, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a nice ACC like school. school kind oh. of and uh, again, on the left, you can see Sambram Roost. So that yeah. belongs to the college. So all the big parties and everything. Oh, okay. You'll be able to book this area. So, uh, the best thing is actually you get all fresh veggies. Uh, oh. Uh, for a cheaper price if you come to this part of the I This is a mango tree. Oh, mango. Mango belongs to the Bangalore Hort Horticultural Department. Okay. Oh, this is superb. And I think it's their own man made lake. For the farming. Wow. Folks, see the road. It's kind of nobody here. Imagine if Bangalore was completely this place out. So it is the Inst Indian Institute of Horticultural yeah. Research. Did they do all the vegetable picking and everything? Oh, you can pick up your vegetables here. Yeah. This is how we go towards the lake. Oh. Yeah, Hesselgata Lake is like huge. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, there are three entrances to Hesselgata Lake. Right? So we have stopped for a bit. We are at the main entrance of the Hesselgata Lake. And let's move to a little better spot where we can see the lake from above. This actually the this water is used for the city. Yeah. So we climb up. Oh, we oh see that fellow is sitting like a king over there. We are getting a bird's eye view of. You can have a big perspective of how people are. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, this is beauty. Whoa, uh, this they walk to the temple. Last time we, we could get on over here. Swimming and washing is prohibited here. Hmm. Superb. Parking slot. 
for the temple, I suppose. So where's the next place we are going? Let's see, I mean, you should be able to enter through the other part of the lake. That's more of the lake bed. You'll get closer to the lake bed. Here, yeah, okay. you'll not be able it's to all fenced up. You can't touch water. Yeah, it's <laughs> all. I think because of the heavy rains in Karnataka over the last month, uh, lakes are filled to the brim. So, like last time, we could get down into the lake bed and walk. I guess yeah. that's a swamp. You can hear the birds chirp actually. Wow, this is a lovely eucalyptus farm. So we're getting to the other side of the lake bed and there's a little small entrance over here. So it's a bit of a walk from here to the lake bed and it's kind of good. It's we are all alone in this place, just the two of us. Wow. What you see to the left are all the poultry units. Oh okay. Oh, yeah. Bit of a walk though to reach the lake bed. So just imagine you come here for a picnic. Yeah. And uh, just I mean try camping you know, just for a day because I mean it's not like not safe for overnight. Yeah. Wow. Long since I heard a parrot screech. These are the touch me not plants. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> when I used to go to Kerala, I used to play with these plants. You just touch them, they close the leaves. That's why they call touch me not plants. <laughs> this is an unexplored destination, like that only it is. Wow. How many kilometers do you think we had a walk, Richie? Half a kilometer or a, more than a kilometer? A, a kilometer walk. This is still the parts of the lake bed. Yeah? Oh, just check out this place, folks. This is peaceful, peaceful, and peaceful. Please try if... throwing this kind of bottles. And, I mean, they come here and they mess up the place and we kind of lose access to this kind of beautiful location and this, uh, it's pretty bad I mean, uh, when it comes to sec uh, being secure actually we don't know how safe is this area so uh, we are not gonna i mean this is a little bit of a disclaimer we are just yeah we are just showing you the beauty spots but we're not coming in groups as friends like be it four or five people together i just enjoy here we had a location in hasilgata which was mainly for the movie uh, shoots and everything. I mean, mm. the place was really beautiful. It's known as Esselgata Grassland, but that has completely been locked out. Uh, it's not allowed for the public anymore. We don't know where, how long <laughs> this place is going to be, be open. open to the public. So be responsible citizens and try to uh, save the environment. Save don't mess up this place. Also, if we come here, you would have seen the birds flying around, but uh, of course, we need a better camera for this. But all the birds flock into this place during winter. Uh, it's a sort of a very beautiful spot for bird watching too. But it's a worth place to check out. So do come this to this place. So now we finished our lake bed view <laughs> tour. So we are going next through this poultry institute. Walking. Yeah, now we are going to cross. Check out the poultry units. And of course, please read this board also. <laughs> Don't litter here. Trash and the, free zone. Trash free zone. <laughs> Oh, they'll catch you. <laughs> oh, this is a pol this is a turkey unit. This is the duck unit. I know we can Sunday, so this is a duck unit. You can see the water uh, surface over there. Uh huh. That's filled with potassium permanganate. The moment you need to get inside, actually, you got to wash your legs. Oh. Yeah, over there, and that can kill all the germs. Potassium permanganate. Oh. Like I mean, now. we can buy X for. A cheaper price. Oh, yeah, if yeah, if you come to this part of the town, so that oh. that eggs are sold away in this. Oh, eggs chicken eggs. And duck eggs would cost you around four bucks. Whoa. End of the film. Film Institute. Institute. Adam Shah Ki Film. Oh. And oh. TV Institute. So That's this is where it. most of the shooting. Is. They're standing right opposite Adarsha Film Institute. This place is famous for the shootings and the lovely grasslands there.
right opposite this film institute is private farms and they have grown a lot of goa trees which looks really beautiful from the outside grasslands yes it comes to us so right oh jerry this is the grasslands oh can you see that they are written drinking hunting, uh, hunting uh, bike and car, car wheeling is not, not allowed so oh. that was earlier side but now they are completely blocked it they oh, just put in the grasslands This is a grasslands. The moment you go inside a little deeper, mm. oh, you find one of the best places. See, you can see a resort on the left that is close to Taj, Taj Mahal oh. resort. Oh, this. Yeah. Is... So uh, it was open to the public like three years back or something, but now they yeah. I don't know what happened. It's shut for yeah. operations yeah. until yeah. further notification. This area. Oh, this oh. is a really good place actually for a stay. Oh, this is Nitya Gram. Right? Mm. That's more of a dance village. Oh, mainly for the classical uh, dance and everything. Oh, um, and it's open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I suppose. So, this is the tour of the grasslands as well as the Nitya Gram, and this is Taj's properties. Oh, this is also a farm stay. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Now we are getting so by to, to find a spot for lunch. Yeah, we are playing for lunch. Yeah, it's almost three o'clock. It's like tea time. It's a brunch or a lunch. What do we call it? Maybe it's a trunch. <laughs> Going through this part of the farms reminds me of a visit to Tiki Village. Yeah, yeah. we come to this part of the town. Yes, <laughs> when you come to Hesergata, be ready yeah. for the long wait. These are the guys who hold up the traffic. Machine broke down. Huge guy. Like a one-story. The Hesergata. Hesergata main depot. The oh, bus station. Bus I mean, the, the final. The stretch is filled with dabas. Dabas. Actually, When it comes oh. to Hesergata, so yeah, you, you would be confused where to which? have the best. But tell you which are the best places to have because there are a lot of places people get confused. Just to avoid that part. See, the, it's Tota Money. Yeah, Tota the Money. Tota the Money. There's more of a. Uh, Like what do you say that again? Okay, Karnataka cuisine. Oh. Yeah, what do you see on the left is one mushroom salad. Oh, this is pretty old. This place. Is pretty old. Okay, this is a mushroom. What a oyster! Yes. I think lunch time most of the dabas are filled. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be full. I mean, filled till the evening. The evening. Oh. oh, this is another one. That's the one more. Banus, banus. Oh, here you have. Actually, yeah. <laughs> The smell of food is in the air, and of course, when you're hungry, it's like whoa. I mean, when you pass through Hesergata Road, I mean, you can literally smell the food. In food. The air. <laughs> yeah. This is more of a cafe type, like Italian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this is. It's a nice place. Nice. Everywhere it's full. Really. It's full. It's full. <laughs> Everywhere it's full. So we are going to the authentic place called Hotel Oyster. After checking out all the major restaurants in Hesergata, we thought finally to have our food at Hotel Oysters. So we are off to Hotel Oyster, and we just few meters away from it. We're gonna have a good lunch together. And do you know something about this restaurant, Ruchi? Oyster. It's just famous for mushrooms. Okay. Also, I've been there for the last 15-20 years. Mm -hmm. Oh, it says 15 years. Oh, experience. Hot oysters. Wow, French fries. No, oh, you get new delicacies. What? <laughs> yeah, there's something new right? apart from the mushroom. It's mainly for the best mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. After checking out all the food being displayed, we thought let's step into the restaurant and then taste the lovely food. So mushroom soup? Yeah, mushroom soup one by two, and uh, kebab, kebab, mushroom kebab. What are you famous, man? For? Pepper drive, Ma mushroom pepper drive. Can I? Yeah. So, so mushroom pepper drive will take uh, mushroom soup one by two. Yeah. Biryani, pepper drive, and kebab will be there. One biryani. One biryani. One kebab. In fact, this restaurant sells their own branded water bottles. 
The service was pretty quick and by the time we could turn around the soup was ready. So here we have our mushroom soup. It's nice and it's warm. Nicely, it's a little spicy immediately pepper. with pepper. Yes, pepper. Oh, that's pepper. So it really hits you. Then these are oyster mushrooms I think they use. So very tasty ones. You know, it helps you. As this mushroom soup is very tasty. It is a bit spicy. Mushroom biryani. And this is a mushroom chili pepper. Whoa. It's hot. And it's, there's a lovely smell. They have this mushroom biryani with raita. Kebab. Kebabs. Oh, yeah. This is mushroom kebabs. Well, the best alternate to non vegetarian food. <laughs> so, let's give a review of this food and let's taste it. I'm like super hungry also. Both of us are really hungry. So let's dig into a mushroom biryani. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Mind blowing? <laughs> Mind blowing. There were some masalas in the rice mixed with mushrooms. Wow. It's a bit spicy. <laughs> you have a. So you can. <laughs> you relax a bit. But this is really definitely a try. This is mushroom kebab. Let's taste the mushroom kebab next. It's hot. We're just taking it off the stove. Let me eat this. Uh, maybe we can just use a little bit of that. Give it a taste. Just a taste. As well as they gave it with. We gave a little lemon, as well as a little onion, just to give the extra taste. So let's taste the mushroom kebab with the chili dip. Mmm! Wow! Spicy? It is spicy. I told you, I mean, <laughs> just that. A little quantity before. Even your lips burn. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, this is uh, our taste but can still identify mm. the flavor. Very much made of flavor. Mm. The flavor, the masala, you know, it's a lovely taste. It's a like a crunchy taste. And really they pass off for non vegetarian food. Do try this out this place. It's the most authentic place to have good mushrooms. The mushroom pepper dry and let's taste it. Let's taste it first without the without chili. Without the chili, yeah. It's hot. So. Mm. What comes with the taste of salt, salt and the crunchiness of the mushroom, plus the masalas, plus the garlic, it has a very good taste. You try all these three, three dishes, it's tasty. Fried rice here which you have ordered, apart from the other dishes. So let's taste it. Let's taste the mushroom fried rice. They give it with little ketchup. It's a little mushroom, sambar or kurma. Gravy. Yeah, gravy. Some gravy is such. Like <laughs> so, little quantity. Let's taste it. Mm. How is it? This made with pepper. That's something what I've not had yeah. all day. So. <laughs> made with pepper and uh, it's not spicy as uh, there's no mas masala there. Then this one along with this gravy. It gives a spice, it's not very spicy as this one. As the as the biryani stuff, it's uh, so this is kind of mild, very tasty, and there's not much of flavor, and there's no much much masala spice. But it's very good. This I'm tasting for the first time. I mean, every time I've been here, it's like I only ordered the mushroom biryani, uh, kebabs, and pepper. And then something called chili, which is more. Spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Just because Jerry, well, even I'm not a person who prefers spice. Yeah. But still, it's something. Mm, not bad. Not bad. It's more more of a mild side. I think it's a biryani. Biryani, which is a little spicy. On a scale of one to ten, biryani I would rate at least around eight to nine. Mm. Just somewhere around six to seven. Yeah, right. This one, that is pepper. Seven to eight. Seven to eight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and the kebabs. That's also seven to eight. Yeah. I've never more of biryani, so I give it around eight out of ten. This is around six out of ten. That is the fried rice, the kebabs around uh, 
nine, I could say. It's very tasty. As well as the pepper also, 10 out of 10. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is amazing. I liked it. <laughs> Eating all this food, it came just to 495 rupees. It went to 500 rupees. So eating all this food was super filling. Enjoyed the lunch. Well, this is all the this is a restaurant which people can sit in, dine in. For mushroom biryanis at 170, there's a combo meal which is 180. Burgers. There's a lot of marketing on this of their menu. Okay, I'm also buying some mushrooms when I'm going. So no, I'm just going to buy some mushrooms and. I'll pick up some mushrooms. It's around 200 rupees per kilo. Also. Let's buy some mushrooms and head home then. <laughs> I'll take some mushrooms. That uh, yeah. What are the different varieties of mushrooms you have over here? Sorry, man. Button only, yeah. Huh? It's over, over, over. Okay, so it was a good time. So uh, I'm having a YouTube channel called Travel Chef, which we check out good uh, food and all that stuff. So we just wanted to do a review on this place. That's why. Thank you very much. So we completely enjoyed our lunch. Yeah. And if this is the authentic hotel oyster. You should definitely wish to visit this place. And especially you should come here when you're super hungry. It's going to be tasty. So the staff was really helpful. Really nice. But anyway, it's a very, really definitely a visit place to come here. Really have to come here. Oh, my God. So <laughs> Hello there. So we are back after a long drive from Hesargata. We have also checked out two or three other restaurants apart from Hotel Oyster. Well, we hope you like this video on Hotel Oyster. Please visit this place. I'm sure this will not will be a value for your money. Also, there's a lovely place which is undiscovered too. For the last 15 years, they're doing their business, and the food that this dish out is super duper. So definitely, I recommend go giving this place a try. Also, if you like our video, please share it with your friends. Please do comment on our video as well as don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Well, until the next video, take care, stay safe and see you soon. See you next week with another video on Hesselgata. Bye-bye.